It's Monday. I don't know. I don't even know when the last time I did a video was. It's Monday the 18th. Here are some sales that came in over the weekend. I bagged them up, of course, already. This is a Chico shirt sold on Poshmark for $18. I paid $2 for it. I'm getting uh, Posh is keeping $360. I get $14.40 minus my $2. This is, um, that's, uh, this is going to Texas. That is, hmm, what is it? Oh, it's a Patricia Nash wallet. Sorry for not showing it to you. I got it at a yard sale for a dollar. So I don't Poshmark for 26. Posh keeps 520. So I'm getting 2080 back minus my dollar. This, um, sold on Posh. It was in one of my storage units. I want to say it was McCoy, but it's not marked. It just says USA. Um, I did say it was McCoy-like. Um, sold on Posh for $20. I get four back. I mean, Posh keeps four. I get 16. It is going to Georgia. So, it was in a storage unit. So, I've made my money back on that. So, I'm going to call that profit. And this is Tanner. I'm sending out two tubes here and a tube here of um, a Sony Skin Tanner as well. This is not resale. These are all brand new and they are the best tanner. No streaking, no stinking, and no orange. Just gives you a natural glow. She and Sky dress that I listed on Poshmark as a romper. And I've messaged the lady twice saying, hey, my mistake. If you want me to still ship it and I have not heard back from her, I'm outside of my shipping window. So I'm sending it anyway, and it'll probably come back. Don't even remember what she paid me for it. Probably, you know, 12 or $15, and I have zero profit in it. It was given to me. All right, this is a Poshmark bundle, a mini Bowden Argyle sweater, a little vintage Ninja Turtle kids belt, corners chipped off, LuLaRoe leggings, LuLaRoe leggings, Cat and Jack kids tank, and a Corvette t-shirt. Um, let's see, these, no, let me think. Um, now I'm really one, two, three, four. Mm -mm. I think the belt, the tank, and the two Lula Rose were part of my bundle four for 20. And then um, I got 10 on the Corvette shirt and 10 on the mini Bowden. Um, so it was a $40 sale. Posh keeps 80. I get $32 back. It is going to California. I know I paid a dollar for this. I know I paid a dollar for this. Pretty sure these were bins, bins. Um, I think storage unit. And I really don't remember where I got the mini button, but I probably feel like it was either a yard sale or bins. So $32 minus maybe one, two, three maybe six so yeah this is a pair of gerbo shorts i think they're a boy's size <clears throat> came out of a storage unit they're going to california sold for twenty dollars on posh posh keeps four i get 16 back and again they're out of a storage unit that i've already profited so glad to see them guys all right so we are at an auction a couple of counties over and it's been a while since I've been. I did bring a few things to sale, but this is kind of, no, it's not busy yet. But people just bring in their chairs and starts in about an hour. And they bring in their stuff to sale. And supposedly there's an estate sale here tonight as well. So we're going to see how it goes. See if we sell anything, see if we buy anything. So if you look around, you'll see their names on the back of the chairs. And I don't know if these people bought the chairs and then put their names on them or if these are just auction chairs and they've just claimed them as their own so anyway this is what it looks like from the seller from the buyer's point of view i guess so May -may. and then there's the area to eat Walmart legitimately had the prettiest Easter decor this year. Like, look at these 
canvases, these little carrots, these mushrooms, these little wood trays, the bunnies, the pillows. How cute. I seriously had some cute stuff at Walmart. Super impressed. And of course, I love the flocked bunnies. I could not bring myself to pay $25 for a flocked bunny, so maybe there will be some left and they'll go on clearance and then I can get one. But seriously, Walmart, you stepped up your game, loved the color, the scheme, the natural, yeah, the baskets, loved the pillows. It was great. And check out the paper products. How sweet is that? Napkins. Just really pretty Walmart. Really pretty. Little table cover. That's plastic. There's some gingham. There's some floral. Hello. It is um, the 25th of March. I believe March is flying through. I feel like my video has probably been all over the place. Um, from, you know, an auction to picking a haunted house, which I did not video. Um, the picture that's on the cover is from it. Didn't get a whole lot from it, but I enjoyed it. Uh, could have stayed there all day, honestly. Um, so from Walmart to an auction to the house to just random sales. And here I am once again, packaged up some stuff and did not show you what it is. And no, I'm not tech savvy enough to throw in a screenshot. I don't know how to do that. Um, I just video off my phone, which probably explains why it's, you know, not a full screen or whatever. I'm just not fancy yet. Um, today is um, Cerebral Palsy Awareness Day, March 25th is. And so we wear green in honor of those with cerebral palsy. And of course, one of my daughters has cerebral palsy. So here's some things. This is just a little elephant onesie with a little polo, kind of overalls with a little polo. Pretty sure I picked this up at a yard sale for probably a dollar. I think I took an offer of, I don't know, 10 or 13 on Mercari. Um, blue Crocs, kids tell their blue Crocs. I think I took an offer of 15 or 13, can't really remember on Posh. Um, I don't, I don't know where I picked these up. I'm sure a yard sale. And this is Bailey Boy's um, <clears throat> plaid pants, kind of a green and blue navy plaid. Um, these sold on Posh, I think, for full price, somewhere in the $20, $25 range. And I'm sure I picked those up at the bins. So um, I've had just some local sales that I, you know, I really haven't shared with you. Um, sold a Rocky horse that came out of the last unit, sold some pots and pans that came out of the last unit, um, a spring floral arrangement that came out of the last unit. Um, gosh, what else? Clothes, I've, I, I did during spring break, I did the dollar um, clothing sale, just locally posting on my group page, sold a lot of clothes. Um, trying to think what other big items maybe. Um, sold some light fixtures. Those came out, maybe not out of this last unit, but a couple of units ago, some light fixtures. Um, went to the auction this past week. I took seven items, and after their 20% fee, I made $117, and I spent 10. I bought an 18 count of fresh eggs, um, paid $5 for those, and I paid $5 for a raffle ticket. So I brought home um, $107 after they kept their 20% fee. I sold a quilt um, that came out of a storage unit. It's, it sold for 70. I sold um, a Canon, a Canon, gosh. Um, Coleman, a Coleman cook stove. One of the old ones, like a camp stove. I think it only sold for 13. Um, I picked it up at a yard sale. You know, I was going to post it on eBay. Never did. 
um, sold a Coleman um, lantern in a carrying case. I think it sold for 10, picked it up at a yard sale. Um, you know, when you don't know how to work those kind of things or, or fix them, you just should never pick them up, honestly. And that's that was a mistake I've learned. I've learned not to pick up things that I don't know if they work, and if they don't work, I don't know how to fix them. Um, and sometimes it's just not worth your time to fool with it. Sold um, some picture frames. You know, that last unit had so many picture frames. So I sold a, um, a group of four picture frames. I think they sold for like $5. Um, I don't know if you've seen the home interiors palm trees that came out of the um, last unit. They were two large picture frames and they were home interiors pictures of palm trees. Um, I was really thinking that somebody would just really love those, but they only sold for $5. That's fine. Um, I've already made my money on the unit. It's clearing things out, so that's okay. So the two Coleman's, the picture frames, the frames, the quilt, two more items, let's think. Um, I got a new truck, um, and I did not need the floor mats that they gave me that came with the truck. So I sold those at the auction. I think they brought $27. Um, something else, which obviously didn't bring a lot of money. I'm just trying to think of what it was. Hmm. Oh, um, Gail Pittman candlesticks. I think they only brought, um, he did, I was trying to do it as a set of three. He said candlesticks, somebody bid $6, and he said, all right, times three. Do you want all three? Or are we going to put the others out at $6? And the lady wanted all three. So that was like, you know, $18. Or maybe it was some change. Maybe it was five fifty and some, you know, something like that. I don't remember. But anyway, um, I enjoyed the auction. I like going to the auction. I did not pick up anything to purchase. I looked at one box lot, um, but the lady that bid, that won the bid, they were like, okay, choose which box you want. Well, she picked the one box that I wanted, and then the others were up for grabs for other people for the same price. But she picked the one that I was interested in. Um. I think I will continue to take things to the sale, things that I don't want to ship, um, things that I want to move quickly because of size, things like that, things that are old and sitting around. Um, so, the Gail Pittman, the quilt, the picture frames, the palm picture frames, the Coleman, the Coleman, there's still one more thing, oh, the floor mats, so that was seven things, yep. So it's, um, it's not getting rich money, but it's quick money. You know, it's take it, put your number on it, they sell it, you collect your money. So, you know, it's quick money. So anyway, we'll see. Um, I think I've got another sale to pull, um, and then we'll probably end this video with that because I feel like it's probably rambling and all over the place. But hey, green for cerebral palsy. Um, love my girl and others who have the condition um, you know, it's not, um, when we found out that she would have cerebral palsy, she was just a few weeks old, um, and we didn't know if it would be as small as her little pinky didn't work or if it would be full-blown, bedridden, um, not able to communicate, things like that. Um, so we are very blessed with her, um, level, I guess you would say. Um, she's going to be 22 next month, um, which is just crazy that my girls are fixing to be 22. Um, she, you know, she is in a, in a wheelchair. Um, we do all her transfers for her in and out of vehicles, in and out of the bed, toileting, showering, things like that. But, you know, she's able to communicate with us. She's smart. Um, and she, feed, she feeds herself. She does everything just like anybody else does. It's just the big mobile things. So, um, you know, anyway, that's kind of why we do the extra things that we do is, um, to help support her and make a future for her and stuff like that. So thanks for listening. I know I'm rambling. Um, maybe have one more sale to show you and then we'll end this video. Thanks. All right. These were the sales I was telling you about. These are a set of, um, Victoria's Secret, um, just pajamas, shorts, and a tank. These sold on Macari for 15 
And this is a pair of Muds has 11 jeans. They sold on Poshmark for 16. Um, I kind of feel like those came from the bins, and I kind of think these came from a storage unit clean out, but I really have no recollection for sure on either. I sold both pair of shoes on Poshmark for an offer of 15 each. So I'm making um, $12. Pretty sure I picked these up at a yard sale for maybe a dollar. And I think these were in um, a lot of stuff that I bought off of someone who decided that that reselling wasn't for them. So my average cost of goods on hers is $2. Um, so I took an offer of 15 on each of these. They're going out to two different people.